What's up everybody, Durek back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking more about Hell Let Loose because there is some more information, but before we really get into it, I have to tell a story that kind of came with this information, so let's get into that really quick. In the Hell Let Loose Discord, a buddy of mine was receiving some harassment from other platforms. Now, I won't say who, I won't say about what, but the point is is that this sparked an uproar in the Discord because of frustrations about the lack of comments from the devs about the game. The devs essentially went silent after the alpha, which had me and everybody else worried that something was wrong. Everybody was typing like crazy in that Discord. But then we all saw it. A dev typing. It was... Spono. At that time, the devs were relatively quiet, or at least I never really saw them speak, until after that moment. Literally everyone stopped typing. It was an interesting moment to behold. And then he spoke. Hey Gussie. Gussie? Who's Gussie? Passionate lot, aren't we? Sorry, I don't I don't speak Australian. I think this is Australian, right? I don't know. We don't mind feedback or critique, but we do mind personal attacks or slander of other projects. You can voice your opinions, but please do it in a manner which is constructive. Sometimes things can be taken out of context when it is not spoken and simply typed. The guideline is, if you can't speak positively or constructively, then perhaps keep it to yourself. This is not the platform for this. I do appreciate that there is a lot of niggle. What the hell is niggle? Niggle! Causes slight but persistent annoyance, discomfort, or anxiety. Also a trifling complaint, dispute, or criticism. Oh. Interesting. With the community wanting to know exactly what is happening right now, and we understand that, I do aim to give another update in a few days, with an exciting new update around the corner. Until then, please be respectful to each other, as we all know we can be. We will reward you with some info spoon. After this, like a bunch of people started posting a bunch of funny stuff, and the community kind of quieted down, and it's... It's, it's so interesting how a dev can speak up and, and really make a difference here. This all happened back in July of this year. Since then, they have been a little more vocal and posted more pictures here and there, which I think is pretty cool. I like it when devs speak. It lets me know that the game's still alive. There is also a checklist of everything that they are doing and it seems to update every time that I look at it. I'll leave a link for that in the description for people to check it out if uh, they're interested. But getting back on topic, just a few days ago, Spawner released an unlisted video that was posted back in August. So I'm going to play the video uninterrupted and then we're going to do an analysis afterwards. So here we go. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go through and uh, analyze it here, so... Okay, so right off the bat we have a guy that's running through a cornfield, and it's an American trooper as you can tell by the M1 Grand. One thing to note is that it says beta build at the top left. So this means that it's coming pretty soon, because we all know that the beta comes after the alpha. Now, could this map be the same map that we played in the alpha? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, they could have added the corn in, because there were a lot of empty fields in the uh, alpha. But when it comes out of the cornfield, there doesn't seem to be any hedges out there. Like, it just... All I see is a bunch of trees, a couple of power lines, and a gigantic spoon, which we'll get to in just a second. So could this be the same map? C I mean, I don't think that it is, but I have been wrong in the past, so uh, this could also be a different map, but uh, we'll have to see when the beta actually comes out. Now, the one thing that this doesn't give us is when the beta actually is. People have speculated that it's in about 20 days as of this video. I'm not entirely sure, so I'm, I'm hoping the devs will say something at some point, but I'd imagine it's got to be around the corner at some point. On to the spoon. I have a couple of questions to ask. What is it doing there? Did a giant drop it? Did it fall from outer space? Was it built there? Did somebody plant it? And it somehow sprouted into a giant metal spoon? The world may never know. But that is all I have for this video. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>